Hello everybody. I'm back to show you my uh, 12 pole, the 12 magnet motor here that I just got running today. After last night and thinking about it, I was blowing up some magnets and thought I'd play with the 12 pole. So you can see I've got 12 of these uh, double pole magnets which have both uh, a north and a south facing pole on on the one face so this is pretty much an eight you know an alternating deal it's not the all north facing at all uh, I don't have enough of those magnets to play around with yet so I'm doing this and I've got some much different results uh, like I posted uh, yesterday with the six pole that I figured it was the spacing and sure enough I think that was the whole deal uh, I wanted to show you real quick before I ramble on I just want to start this thing up but this is the voltage of the uh, right now the battery that I'm gonna start charging it, uh, which is the uh, one I recovered which I have been running this thing off of for quite a while it's working just fine but anyway there's the voltage on that one and, and this has been sitting for a while. It's, it's settled out at this voltage. And here's the voltage of the charging battery. All right. So you can see that. Like I say, this has been off for a good hour or two. I'm going to fire this thing up. So you can see the difference between uh, the last video. Alright. First thing is, is as soon as I turn this on, the coil hums. It hum it's humming right now. If I hover the magnet and it draws a whole bunch, but as soon as I kind of kick it, it uh, takes it out of that oscillating mode. Now you can see I hardly had to put any rotation on this thing and it starts to fly on up right now uh, I measured the the resistance on it and I believe I was at uh, 60 ohms it was either 60 or 80 I, I forget right now anyway it's not that many ohms on this thing right now it might be 150 yep I'll have to re-measure, I'll, I'll post a note on that. But I'm going to be playing with the resistance to let you see how this thing performs. But Earlier today when I was running it, I, I was only getting about 25 or 30 uh, out of it. But after rearranging and cleaning everything up and redoing all the contacts, I'm getting a little more out of it at the same resistance. Right now you're seeing the voltage of the uh, the run battery. So let me switch it over to the one I'm actually charging. Okay. So there's the voltage of the battery I'm I'm charging, and we started at it was at 11.93. It always goes up a a few points you know during the charging process and it'll settle back down so just keep an eye on that and you're going to see it it's it's going to be charging that battery like I say it's recovered battery that thing was was dead and I've been running this motor just fine on this thing and I'll, I'll swap it here in a minute I've been still playing around with the tuning of this thing I'm only I just got this running uh, earlier today so I just wanted to show you really the difference and then kind of go through a few other uh, things I've been noticing pretty much gotten up to speed at this point it looks like uh, if I drop this thing down to around 10 ohms it keeps spinning it'll spin a lot faster but it, it's not really doing what it should be doing so so I got a, a 25 ohm, a 25 ohm, and this is like a 5K right here. I had that up just a little bit. So 
So now I'm adding a little resistance to this thing. So you can hear the pitch changes when I, you know, with the different resistances. Uh, earlier, this was about as the lowest I could get the draw. This is the draw, and this is what's going in to the battery. This is on a 10 amp scale, so this is 90, and this is, uh, you know, what you see, the two, uh, 27. So you see this slows down, but if I haven't given it too much resistance, then it'll it'll keep going slow like this, only drawing between you know around 11, 9, 9 to 11 uh, or 90 to 110 milliamps. So it pretty much settles out about there I'm, I'm gonna keep going on what I wanted to show you here well I, I basically I've put up 12 of these blocks I've glued uh, magnets to each one of these blocks and because I milled the piece of wood I glued it to to fit really tightly in here I, I can move these around and play with them and they stay in place rather well and I, you know I've been using these hard drive magnets and, and they, they're all various thicknesses so Earlier today, I was uh, thinking, well, you know, God, how can I get an equal space? So, basically what I did is I, I just put a shim in here for the gap I wanted, and I just pulled the block in and out and tapped on it and got it to where it was just rubbing on the shim, and so now they're much more equally spaced, and they're still just sitting, you know, it's just the clamping pressure of the rim itself onto this wood piece that's holding them in there. And this is by no means a like a production model or something you put in. You know, you you need to clamp stuff down. I thought about you know drilling holes and screwing these things down and straps or something. If you know for something you want as a production model, I am just experimenting with this right now. So uh, basically, I've got uh, twelve of these magnets with ha which have a a. Uh, north and south pole on the faces so essentially I've got a 24 magnetic pole uh, motor right here and just one coil so let me fire it back up show you how easy this thing starts you just want to hear that little chirp Each one of these magnets has a little different strength too. Alright, I think that'll start spinning. Lowering the resistance just a little bit. In fact, I'm gonna let this thing crank on up. Right now I just got ten. 10 ohms of resistance on the thing. And I got to get it going because it creates a self oscillation until I get it up to speed and then that'll stop. And I don't know if you noticed this, this went up to like, oh, you know, 1.3 amps or something like that. But once you get it going fast enough, that oscillation stops, which is pretty cool. So this is pretty much as fast as, you know, I'm going to run this in the current configuration pretty much as fast as it can go. But you'll, it, it's continuing to speed up right now. But you can see it's not really running as efficient. It's not putting out as much amps to the battery because we haven't really timed it right to where it's doing the triggering very well. But you can see this this thing can spin pretty darn fast too just like the hard drive one was going so anyway I'm gonna crank this back down so we can get some charge out of it
I was getting about 40 milliamps earlier. I might be able to get more if I sit here and tune it for a while. Alright, uh, I wanted to point out something. Now, on my, uh, my hard drive motor here, I went with a, a four pole deal at first and as I've been playing with this and adding poles and seeing how the spacing with these these type of magnets uh, if you're dealing with north pole only magnets I, I don't think it's such an issue but with this one because these magnets are, are firing so close to one another and then you have this gap and then they fire again and this gap if if this if all these were touching one another then that's a much more even firing so I figured you know I was looking at this and I could easily scoot two of these magnets over and fit two more in here so I'd have a six pole they'd all be very evenly spaced and I bet the thing would run much much better so that's uh, something I'm thinking about playing with and uh, you guys might want to do that too I scored heavy today. I got a whole bunch of coil wire, so I'm gonna be playing a lot of coils. That's just one of two rolls I got. Um, oh, the uh, wooden blocks on here. One nice thing about wood is if you spray a little water on it and moisten that wood up, it'll swell, so it'll hold in there even a little better during your experiments. You know, it's summertime. It's getting to be summertime now. I'm probably going to squirt some water on these just to make sure they keep sticking while I keep messing around until I've decided on you know a particular arrangement I want to go with. Oh, and the circuit. I'm going to put up a little uh, flash of the circuit that I got in the background there, uh, a little close up, so you guys can study that. It's the basic schoolgirl circuit, uh, the Bedini schoolgirl. Uh, nothing fancy here and it represents basically what I got going on here and like I say I, I think I was about 150 ohms between the 10 ohm and the and the pots I had going I was about 150 I'm pretty sure so that's how much better it works with a closer spacing your magnets with a single coil And I got a lot of tweaking to do. I just got this firing today, and I'm really, uh, really, really happy with the uh, results I'm getting. So, I guess that's about it. Take care, everyone. This is the simple Bedini circuit, the schoolgirl circuit, with this setup right now current values I'm running.